Good day everyone and welcome to this Crazy Talk 7 video tutorial where we're going to show you how to remove the background of your images. So in previous tutorials I was working on a Samuel L. Jackson image where we fitted the character and we also added uh, eyes and teeth. So now I want to remove the background. To do this I simply have to go to the toolbar and I click on the mask editing function. Inside, by default, um, Crazy Talk 7 will have the auto mode system engaged. And as you can see, the auto detection system has automatically masked out the background and parts of the shirt. And I can preview this, and you can see that Crazy Talk 7 did a fairly good job. Um, I, I want to point out two, two areas the actor brush tool, which, if I use this brush tool, everything I color over that means that I will be using this in my animation and then we have the background brush tool and everything I color over will be removed or made transparent okay so let's say that I want to use this shirt and this collar in my animations so I choose the actor brush I will increase the brush size and then I will just simply stroke over these areas and the auto detection system will kick in and will bring these segments forward. Now I can simply preview. Voila! This is amazing. That's how easy it is to remove your background in Crazy Talk 7. I can then click on OK. And there you go. The background is removed. Once I'm ready, I can simply click down here on Save My Character and I can save this one as a new character or a custom character if I choose to. So, so far I showed you a very clean background um, such as this one uh, with Samuel L. Jackson. It was very, very easy to remove the, the green background. But what if you're working with an image that is not so simple? What if you have an image that where the face and the clothing have similar color tones as the background? Well. Crazy Talk also has a, a manual system that can help you remove this. So let's try this one. I have this image of this child. So I will go back to the mask editing function. And by default, since we are uh, in auto mode, you can see that the auto detection system tried to remove the background as best it could. So let's try to do this manually. I will go to manual mode, click on yes. And then I will clear everything so that we start from scratch. The first thing I would like to do is use the key tool. Now the key tool is sort of like the magic wand in Photoshop. So I can click on that background and the, uh, the detection system is already at work trying to remove those areas. And let me show you a little trick. I can actually hold the shift key and I can click on other areas and I can slowly add them into that background removal. Now you can see that I accidentally removed the, uh, the parts of the facial features in the process. Well, no worries. We can, we can fix this up later on. So, just like we did with the actor brush and the background brush, I want to use the brush here, the brush tool, which is like the background brush, and I will just quickly try to remove all the, uh, all the, the background segments that I definitely do not want to use. Okay? Right about there. Here we go. The neck, the shoulders. Okay. Now, if we want to restore these, these segments, we can use the eraser tool. And I can go back in there. And I can take my time on, on restoring these areas. Right about there. Okay, not bad. So with a little time and effort, you could, you could greatly improve the background removal of your image. Now in the end, if you think that the edge looks a bit too rough, then you could use the, the smoothing tool that we have. We call it Blur. It'll help you smooth out the edges. Okay. Right about there. And you can outline, you can go all around the outline of your character to try to smooth out those edges just like that. 
So I'm doing this quickly, but you get the idea. And that's how easy it is to remove your own background in Crazy Talk 7. Also, take note that you may import images that already contain alpha channels like PNG and Targo files. So you can use Photoshop to clean the background and then just import into Crazy Talk. Okay, so let me open my Samuel image here. And the last part is where I want to go to the content manager and I want to add a new background. So I can choose one of the default backgrounds like a nightclub or a blue backdrop. Or better yet, I may go up here to the toolbar to the background settings and I can import my own background image from my folder. So let's say a colorful image. That looks nice. Or better yet, I can give it a Tarantino theme. Nice. And that's how easy it is to remove and add my own background in Crazy Talk 7.